Let's rise up and tell every elected official in Washington, no more talk, no more show votes. Get it done. Stop this deal. That was Senator Ted Cruz earlier today at the Stop the Iran Deal rally in Washington, D.C. Earlier, I spoke with the Texas senator and 2016 GOP presidential candidate about why he attended and much more. Take a look. Senator, great to see you today. Um, big crowd, all these people. I ask you this one question. They get $150 billion. They're the number one yep. state sponsor yep. of terror. They get to build their intercontinental ballistic missiles. They get to spin their centrifuges. They get conventional arms. They get missile defense with Russia. Mm -hmm. What did we get? Did we get anything that you can mention? Uh, the only thing that we got out of this deal was President Obama got what he considers to be a domestic political victory. You know, his deputy national security advisor at the beginning of his second term described the Iranian nuclear deal as the Obamacare of the second term. I, I think he meant that as a compliment. Yeah. Uh, this deal is catastrophic. Uh, as you rightly noted, if the deal goes through, it will make the Obama administration quite literally the world's leading financier of radical Islamic terrorism. You know, today I spoke on the Senate floor. And, and, and at the rally outside the Capitol, and I pointed out to every Democrat who's thinking of voting in favor of this deal, you need to be prepared to look in the eyes of the mothers and fathers of our soldiers who were murdered by Iranian IEDs in Iraq, hundreds of soldiers blown up by General Soleimani. This deal lifts the sanctions on General Soleimani. But even more fundamentally, those Democratic senators need to be prepared to look in the eyes of mothers and fathers and sons and daughters of the hundreds, if not thousands, of Americans and Israelis that will be murdered by Hamas, by Hezbollah, by the Houthis, by radical Islamic terrorists who will receive billions from this deal. You know, Osama bin Laden never had a hundred billion dollars. The Ayatollah Khamenei hates us every bit as much, has stated his intention to murder us just as viciously, and the difference is this deal will give him over $100 billion to carry that out. And if Iran acquires nuclear weapons, one EMP, one electromagnetic pulse over the Atlantic seaboard from one nuclear weapon could kill tens of millions of Americans. It's the biggest national security threat facing America. You know, what can you do? I mean, we went through the, the, this entire deal where I thought it was a bad idea from the start, and that was Bob right. Corker's bill where they basically took away. You have a constitutional authority, two-thirds majority for a treaty. Now, the president wasn't going to declare this a treaty. What can you do in the Senate to stop this, if anything, at this point? Well, really, there, there are two important things we, we can do. You're right, this should have been treated as a treaty. I fought hard against Corker Cardin when it was coming up. I introduced legislation, an amendment to have it require the affirmative approval of Congress, and it was Republican leadership who killed that and, and who pushed through this toothless deal. But there are two things we can do, Sean. Number one, the most important right now, is there are two people in Washington, D.C. who can stop this deal, and their names are Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Speaker John Boehner. Under the terms of Corker Cardin, it is very weak and toothless, the Iranian review legislation. But the one tooth it has is it says it requires Obama to hand over the entire deal, and it defines that as including any side deals. Now, the Obama administration hasn't done that. They haven't handed over the side deals with the IAEA, the, the inspection deals that set up the farcically weak inspection regime where Iran essentially inspects itself. Under the terms of that legislation, then, what McConnell and Boehner should do is say Obama has not followed federal law, he has not submitted the deal, therefore the clock has not run, which means it is against federal law for Obama to lift sanctions. Obama, uh, McConnell and Boehner can do that together. All they have to do is enforce federal law and don't allow Obama to ignore the law. That's what I'm urging leadership to do. They don't want to do it. But that's what we should do. I'll say secondly, Sean, if they don't do it, if we go through with a show vote this week, if Republicans vote against it, Democrats vote for this deal, it will go into effect. That will make the single most important issue in 2016, stopping a nuclear Iran. And I'll tell you this, Sean, I cannot wait to stand on that debate stage next to Hillary Clinton and to make abundantly clear, if you vote for Hillary, 
You are voting for Iran to acquire nuclear weapons, and if you vote for me, under no circumstances will Iran, led by a theocratic ayatollah who chants death to America under no circumstances will Iran be allowed to acquire nuclear weapons. Well, death to America was chanted immediately while the negotiations were going yes. on. The American flag, the Israeli flag, was burned, and they said the destruction of Israel is non-negotiable, Senator.